morning, North American traders. Been a pretty quiet, uh, rangy morning here in Europe. Dollar's been marginally bid. Dollar yen is sort of traded 80.04. And sitting here on the highs, 01, heading into the ADP data release, and then again into FOMC tonight. Dollar yen looks like it wants higher. Bonds have ticked off a little bit. 124.25. We're watching this top side very, very closely. This is a very important setup. 114.50. So let's keep an eye on that today. Could be triggers from ADP or could be triggers from FOMC. So let's be prepared for that. Dollar Swiss also creeping higher with all the rest of the dollar pairs. There's going to be stops above 10040. This is a very bearish bar, which will have led to some shorts being put on here. The medium term guys are going to have to have their stops above that high. So we're also keeping an eye on that 10040. With, of course, the understanding that the dollar Swiss is one of the hardest pairs to trade. So size your risk appropriately. Euro sterling traded down to 39 on the manufacturing numbers. Very, very low liquidity print at 39. And then we went back there again down to 40. If you look on the five minute chart, you can see here's the number down to 39, back up to 50, down to 42, 41. And now we're here just trading around 50. It's an important close today in sterling. This is the 200 day moving average. The problem with this setup is uh, Bank of England tomorrow. So not a, not a lot of guys are going to put on fresh risk in front of the Bank of England. We're expected to raise rates tomorrow. But if they don't raise rates, uh, sterling will get crushed. Let's have a look around at these crosses. As we spoke about this morning, cross yen has been bid. Aussie yen and CAD yen have led the way. There's the Aussie yen chart. Here's the CAD yen chart. Uh, this looks like a range low and a turn, and in a risk on scenario, we expect these pairs to continue an up move. Have a quick look at dollar max. Very interesting highs up there at 1932. This will be the sort of six month highs. Hasn't liked it up there too well uh, over the past week. But again, with the DXY moving higher and possible bullish momentum for the dollar, surrounded by or driven by FOMC or ADP, you gotta keep a close eye on dollar max. And finally, we'll just pull up this Kiwi chart. Very bullish today on strong Kiwi employment. Hasn't been the easiest trade to get a hold of because this was, this was quite gappy, that first move. Uh, market is short Kiwi. We're not really recommending chasing it through the highs. Uh, and it's a little bit tricky because if the dollar is in general bid, may put some downward pressure on Kiwi dollar. Uh, if you put your foreign exchange hat on, you would think maybe Kiwi yen is going to be your vehicle. And it has been, but uh, already up 1.3% on the day. Interesting pivot highs up there at 79 the figure, but not something we want to be focused on too much, but just something to keep in mind. Finally, we will go to the S&P chart. Risk on, new highs. The high today has been 83.75. Similar sort of story, muted volatility and just pushing onto new highs, even with some terrorism news in New York. 
Stocks are undaunted for now. Okay, good luck. ADP in an hour and 15 minutes, and then FOMC this evening here in Europe. Talk to you again soon.